Hello everyone, in this video, my teammates and I will be talking about sea cucumbers. Let's get right into it! The echinoderms, meaning spiny skin, dominate the seafloor. A diverse phylum that contains starfish, sea urchins, pronoids, and sea cucumbers. Perhaps the most peculiar creatures of this phylum are the holothurians, or from the class Holothuroidea, which consist of sea cucumbers. Sea cucumbers are important marine invertebrates that can be found worldwide in both shallow coastal areas and deep ocean waters. Sea cucumbers live on or near the ocean floor. Some of them take shelter under rocks or in crevices. Some sea cucumbers have feathery tentacles flowing from their mouth. Some are puffed like bloated balloons. They come in many different colours too from the normal or common looking ones to the bizarre looking ones that usually live deep down in the abyss of the ocean. But they are generally characterized by their long cylindrical shape, similar to a large cucumber. In most sea cucumbers, the internal skeleton consists only of microscopic ossicles embedded beneath the skin. Depending on the species, sea cucumbers may grow anywhere from less than an inch to three meters long. Many sea cucumbers actually breathe through their anuses, rhythmically contracting and relaxing their muscles they draw water in and out over an internal lung-like structure called a respiratory tree that extracts oxygen from seawater. They typically feed on tiny particles of algae, microscopic marine animals, and detritus. Sea cucumbers possess a ring of tentacles around their mouths which are actually modified to feed. They may have 8 to 30 mouth tentacles. Their tentacle structure also varies and affects feeding behavior. Certain sea cucumbers ensconce themselves in free existing burrows and extend their tentacles into the water column to snatch up prey. Others are suspension feeders, filter food from the seawater, and some use their brush like mouths to ingest and process organic material from the sediment. And they often give neat rows of excrement behind them. In addition to the modified tube feet around their mouth, most sea cucumbers move slowly by using their tiny tube feet, called aspodia, that they use for locomotion. The suction tape appendages, typically arranged in three rows below and two rows above, helps the creatures squat along. Other species like the tube feet, they swim by flexing their bodies and inching along the sea floor. And a minority of sea cucumbers will travel by active swimming in the water column. Sea cucumbers have evolved certain adaptations and behavior to deal with potential threats. When threatened, some sea cucumbers discharge a sticky threat to ensnare their enemies. Others can mutilate their own bodies as a defense mechanism known as self eviscerate The sharp organs may confuse, entangle, or distract a predator by providing a convenient snack and give the sea cucumber a chance to escape. Although sea cucumbers have no brain, they do have a system of nerves. Nerves in their skin help them to sense light. This is why their body surface is sensitive to light. Apart from that, sea cucumbers can actually do one other thing that is much cooler and no other living being in the world can do it. Before that, I'm going to warn you this might be pretty disturbing for some people. Okay, so, extraordinarily, the sea cucumber is capable of transforming itself into a liquid, almost like it's melting. As you keep pressing the sea cucumber, it'll get softer and softer and it becomes like liquid, then it will end up with a hole. From where the hole is, the organs will come out. And while predators are busy munching on them, the sea cucumber will go away and this guy that was just been ripped in half become two individual creatures after we leave it for a while. It is thanks to the special collagen fibers in their tissues that the sea cucumber can liquefy at will. Life cycle of the sea cucumber Most of the sea cucumber reproduce by releasing the eggs and sperm into the ocean water. The male sea cucumber will release the sperm while the female will release the eggs into the water. Each organism can release thousands of the gametes at a time, while the female up to 130,000 eggs at a time. After fertilization, it first develops into a larvae which swim around with the cilia. Larvae ciliated to free swimming organisms. Larvae spend several weeks floating in the water. They eventually settle to the bottom and morph into the tiny juvenile. The juvenile takes several years to grow to reach to their adult size. 
The sea cucumber can live up to 8 years. The sexual reproduction Sea cucumbers spawn by release the eggs and sperm into the water where the eggs are fertilized. It called as the external fertilization. After fertilization, it first developed to a planktonic larvae stage. After 3 to 5 week period, they float as a plankton, then larvae settle in the sea bottom where it becomes an adult. Asexual reproduction the sea cucumber will divide into two half, with each half regenerate the missing organs in a few months. Sea cucumber may seem that it does not work in its part, but it does play a vital role in marine ecosystem. The sea cucumber act like natural filter as they digest the organic material and eject what they have digested. They function similarly as earthworm in terms of them recycling nutrients from their surroundings. They break down the particles they eat and help recycle nutrients back into the ocean ecosystem like nitrogen, ammonia, and calcium carbonate. Again, just like a swarm, they also can help aerate the sediment as they are hunting for food, which release even more nutrients and can create, save, and improve the habitat of seabed life like crustaceans. Besides benefiting underwater, Sea cucumbers can be used as a medicine and treatment for humans which mostly used in traditional Chinese medicine who it believed to have a healing properties and used to treat ailments like arteries, cancer, frequent urination and importance. While it can be consumed orally as supplement, most cultural in East and Southeast Asia regard sea cucumbers as a delicacy while acknowledging its health and medicinal value. It can be found sold fresh, dried and frozen. The dish is said to have a smooth texture and commonly served with winter watermelon, kompoi, kailan, shiitake, mushroom and Chinese cabbage. As it is used for medicine to delicacy, sea cucumber farming can benefit the farmers in terms of income while it benefits the entire bay and all its marine life at the same time. Life on the seafloor can be a challenge, limited by an ability to migrate large distance. Dimensal creatures must find ways to survive using resources available on the bottom. Without holothurians acting as engineers of the marine ecosystem, the seafloor would become barren. Sea cucumbers are very important marine life for fishermen and the environment but sea cucumbers might not survive and become extinct if we are not good at managing them. We must set rules and enforce the law to maintain the survival of sea cucumbers.